Hello and thanks for watching this Acumatica video on sales discounts. So in another video we talk about sales prices and how you can set fixed prices based on a number of different rules. In this video we're going to talk about discounts, the ability to take money off of your list price. So let's get started. So the first area we go is to discount codes. So discount codes are broken into multiple different groups. The ability to discount across the document, on the line level, and then group. Group means that all of the items as part of this discount need to be present in order for the discount to apply. A document discount shows up here under the discount details tab. A line discount shows up here at the line in a discount percentage or amount. And then when we break it down further on a line discount, we have the ability to determine whether or not this discount is applicable to a specific customer or a specific item, a group of items, a specific customer, specific item, specific customer and a group of items and so on. So there's a ton of different options here which allow you to apply the discount based on certain rules of the order. And the same thing happens to group discounts. You can make them applicable to a certain set of entities. Now when we talk about document discounts, you have a few less choices. Because it's a document discount, the applicable options are customer or a customer in a specific branch or company meaning your company in Acumatica, or a specific group of customers based on their price class and the branch, or you could just run an unconditional discount for or as long as you want. Now these discounts have the ability to be either manually applied, meaning if I know the discount code, I can enter them inside the sales document. That's what manual means. If it's not manual, then it'll automatically be applied based on the rules we're seeing here. So let's create a new discount code. We'll call it discount. The terminology here is not great, but we'll create a new one. And well, this one will be a discount based on customer and item classes. So it's going to be a line discount and we're gonna choose customer price class and item price class. So what we do is we save it here. And now it's set up. Now this particular discount we would then configure. So if we go over to our discounts, once you get your discount codes together, you can create your discount profile. So we'll create a brand new one here. We'll add the discount code we just created We'll give it a sequence. This gives us the ability to have different variations of this discount code. So I'm just gonna create this as 0001. And then the question here is, what's the discount by? Is it by percentage or amount? So I'm gonna take the example of percentage. And then we have the ability to do break pricing, meaning if the customer is spending X number of dollars on this line, then this discount will trigger. So the first thing we'll do, we'll leave this alone. The first thing we'll do is we'll add our break amount and we're just gonna leave it as zero. And we're gonna apply a 10% discount. Now, Acumatica gives you the ability to have a pending date. So you can make this effective maybe next month, for example. And then if you want to, you can also make this a promotional where you apply an effective date and an expiration date. Notice the date fields were taken away and they're placed up here for all the line items, meaning this discount code and its sequence will be applicable within this date range. But we're gonna turn that off for now. So this is gonna be a 10% discount effective today. And over here under customer price class, this is where we define what it's applicable to. So we're gonna apply this to retail customers. And then what item classes are we going to do item price classes so we go over here and we choose 
the item price class. So we just have a few in the system. This is not the item class, it's the item price class. They are different. So we're going to say this is for software items. And we'll save it. Now, going back to discount breakpoints, we can add additional ones here. So I can say, well, if the price is over $500, then let's give them a 20% discount. Now, all of these are in a pending column, meaning we need to click the Update Discounts button so that they slide over. Now, Acumatica has a global update discounts that you can process and schedule on a nightly or weekly basis so that anybody tinkering with the discounts, they can become effective when that schedule runs. In this case, I'm going to just simply update discounts manually as of this date. So now everything is effective out of the pending amount and into the current amount and this discount will apply. So what we have here is for all retail customers if they buy the software price class items they'll get a discount of 10 percent unless they spend over five hundred dollars they'll get twenty percent. So let's look for an item here in the system we'll take this convertible crib and we'll give it a price class of software then we'll go into our customers and we'll take alphabet school center and we'll give them a price class of retail now we'll create a new order for alphabet we'll add our convertible crib and you could see we automatically got the 10 percent discount and if you scroll to the right Acumatica shows the discount code that's actually working here so we got our 10 percent discount great so now if we change this quantity to let's say three Acumatica applies a 20% discount. So this is a line discount that's applicable to groups of customers and groups of items. So let's go back to our discount codes. Let's take a look at this document discount by customer. So this one right here, and by the way, you can click on this hyperlink and it will bring you to the discount screen, the same screen we were in before. It'll bring you there. And it brings up that particular discount, which again is a document discount. Let's look up and see if there's any sequences. There is. This one's called US Bartending. And it's set up so that this customer always gets a 5% discount if they spend over $5,000. And if we look at the customers, you can see, of course, it's USA Bartending. Let's create a new sequence. And we'll make this for 002. And we'll give this customer a 10% discount regardless of how much they spend. And let's select a customer that we'll remember. We'll pick uh, ABC, no, we'll pick Church of Apostles. And we'll update the discounts, make them effective. And let's create a new sales order. And we'll just add an item. Doesn't matter what we add here. And we'll save it. And notice there's no discounts here. But if we go to discount details, you can see a document level discount was applied for 10%, $50. Now how these discounts look, if we print out the sales order, you don't see them here under discount percentage, but you do see them at the bottom for a document discount. If I go backwards and I look at the previous sales order that we created that was a line discount, 20%, and I print that out, I can see that 20% discount against the line. 
Now let's take a look at a group discount. We'll go back to our discount codes. And we'll open one up. This one's by item. So let's take a look. And we'll open up a code. So this one, we'll take a look at this one. So this provides a 25% discount if more than 10 quantity is purchased. If we go to items, you can see there's just one item in here. This is not what group discounts were intended to do. They're intended to give you the ability to have multiple items in here. So let's add another item here. We'll add a strain gauge. And what this means is that we need to, because the discounts by percentage but the breaks by quantity, we need to get a quantity, a total quantity of 10 before we get this particular discount to trigger. So if we open up our sales order, we'll create a new one. Customer doesn't really matter here. We'll pick an Acer. And the first thing we notice is there's no discount, but if I put quantity 10 here, you also don't see a discount. That's because I require in this discount it to have these two items. So if I go back and I add that strain gauge, and I add quantity 1 to it for $50, What you can see now, there's no line discounts, but if we go to discount details, you can see a group discount was applied. So it's 25% for all the items. So this is a group discount, but it shows up at the document level. So if we print this out, you'll see it at the bottom. This is because Acumatica can't really determine what line to apply the discount to. Instead, it's going to apply it for those items across the top. And Acumatica knows the applicable amounts. So the discountable amount is 4800 That's because that's what this adds up as. If I add a new line, and maybe I pick a Lego set, You'll see over here, Acumatica still keeps the 4800 because this group discount only applies to the items that are part of this discount. So that's it. That's a quick overview of Acumatica's sales discount system. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks very much and have a great day.